Thank you, Raz. So a, a number of our speakers can't be here today. A lot of them are involved in political um, campaigning. So this is from Stephanie White. Stephanie White is the Executive Director of Equality Michigan. Here is what Equality Michigan wants to share with our community. This proposal from the Trump administration must be taken seriously because his administration has undertaken several steps to reduce the rights of LGB, but especially trans, the trans community. As of today, it's only a proposal. Right now, today in Michigan, trans people still have the right to take our cases of discrimination to the Michigan Civil Rights Commission to have it investigated and adjuncted. We still, we just gained the ability this summer when the Civil Rights Commission finally agreed to Equality Michigan's request for them to issue an in interpretive statement making sex, dis making discrimination against gay people and trans folks included in the definition of sex discrimination. As of today, it's only a proposal. Before this harmful idea can actually disrupt our lives and make us more marginalized, the Trump administration will have to go through a somewhat lengthy rulemaking process. One step along the way is a period for public comment. That's when we all have the opportunity to submit our strong opposition to this scam and mobilize our friends and allies to do the same. We can throw a wrench in their plans, and we will. And we know our friends from the ACLU will not let this proceed without doing what's best, suing the pants off the Trump administration. Although he can keep his pants on, that wasn't in here, but <laughs> just as they did when they tried to halt trans service in the military, we'll never go down without a fight. Last and most importantly, our rights require electoral power. If we vote, we are more powerful. If we vote and put pro-equality people in office, we will be protected. Voting matters, and this Tuesday, November 6th, we must all vote. And I want to just say, if you are having a difficult time getting to the polls, Uber and Lyft just pr are providing free rides for people to the polls. If you live in the city of Detroit, the Detroit Bus Company is providing busing to the polls, as well as 12 personal vehicles. So if you need help getting to the polls, contact the Detroit Bus Company, Uber, or Lyft. And Samantha, I'd like to call you back up to read the statement. Actually, I'm going to swap it up a little bit. So, um, Jack, you ready? 